use international contract law, private international law. International law today has many different categories. One is public international law, the other is supranational law, and the third is private international law. Public international law is a set of rules, norms, and standards generally accepted in relations between different nations. These include international customs, treaties, and other principles of law. Supranational law is based on the limitation of rights and of sovereign nations between one another. United Nations Security Council and subordinate organizations, such as International Court of Justice, is one of the tribunals. Whereas private international law concerns relations across different legal jurisdictions between natural persons, companies, corporations, and other legal entities. Many persons trade, study, marry, and divorce internationally today. One might have a car accident in another country since we are driving internationally. Private international law shall be applied as a solution to those complicated issues. In order to solve the various issues, Hague Conference on Private International Law was established. Since 1955, the HCTH developed 38 different international conventions to establish general rules on jurisdiction, applicable laws, and recognition and enforcement of foreign judgment. There are several rules and principles in solving issues on private international law. One is Lex Loci Celebrationis. This means the law of the land where the marriage was celebrated shall be applied as a governing law in marriage cases. Another rule is Lex Loci Delicti Comissi. This means a governing law and jurisdiction of a certain crime shall be that of a crime was happened. But for the real estate issues, Lex Loti Re Citae might be applied in many cases. This means the governing law where a property is located shall be applied. But in uh, some of the status issues like uh, social security, Lex Domitili shall be applied. Usually, domicile is status or attribution of being a lawful permanent residence in a particular jurisdiction. In trust and uh, succession issues, different rules might be applied. Various issues related with will, lex domicili or lex but the IA might be applied. But for the remaining assets, uh, uh, immovable assets, Lex C2 shall be applied. But in contract cases, Loti Contractus or Lex Loti Solitionis might be applied. This means the governing law might be uh, that of where a contract was made or a performance shall be provided. Okay, thanks for watching this video. If you had any interest on international contract law, please do not forget to click like button, subscribe button, and bell button. Bye, take care.